Hey guys, I am back from hot Thailand to freezing cold Slovenia. We launched the 390 Duke there. I took some few days off with Merivi to recharge. The batteries are full now. I'm ready to go full throttle again. And we need to do one thing. We need to finish up my 250 Duke before I go for my winter preparations. So we need to put the last parts on it. And then I can show you my brand new, sick, amazing, mind blowing setup for the 2018 season. So let's get to work. Oh, Dominic, all those new parts, man, it's amazing. It looks like Christmas came early this year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A few parts are still waiting there on the bench, so let's put them on the bike. on the new bracket is also on so now it's time to put the calipers and then we are done with the back side of the bike and we can continue Time for new stickers. Let's clean the bike first. Rock, so these are totally new design, right? Yeah, we went crazy this time on the new sticker kit. It's a new bike, so I need a New design, right? It's looking sharp. Rob, the Krapovic looks different now. Yeah, this time we have a carbon one. It looks sick. I love black colors, so that's why I choose this one. And it's actually one that you can buy for all the small dukes. It's a slip-on one. But what's the difference from the original? For sure the looks, then the weight and what's the most important, the sound and that's why I always love to put those on my bikes. So hey, I have an idea, let's do a sound test. Sound test, okay, that's actually a good idea. Let's do a comparison between the original one and the Akrapovic one, that's everybody wants to see that, right? So let's do it in 3, 2, 1, now. applying this yeah, that's the new rubber grip tape from our partner blackbird they sent me a sample so the we shape now the tank so now we need to put some grip on so I'm not gonna slide away when I do some high chair tricks the bike is finished so now let me walk you through my new 2018 stunt bike setup I'm gonna show you my new stunt setup. But before I walk through the stunt bike, Helens, would you show some cool shots as you always do of my new stunt bike? Perfect. So guys, enjoy it.
six stunt bike right guys so for this 2018 stunt bike we needed to develop a lot of new parts and update the old one since this bike has a lot of new parts and a new frame so let me show you the new setup and let's start at my favorite stunt part that's the stunt tank Finally, after I got my first Duke back in 2011, this new model has a metal tank, which means that it's much easier to reshape it. And we cut it away the top, we added the lip, so this gives a nice shape that gives a lot of stability when we are sitting on it. And we added also a Blackbird rubber grip tape for more grip in the wet surface or when we also sit on it. So yeah, finally I can step up my high chair game. In the part one of our stunt bike build off, I asked you guys, should I take off the front light or leave it on? So you voted to leave it on. I followed your request, so the light stays on the bike. <music> to control my stunt bike, I'm using the Magura Rock Bagarush signature handlebar, which is wider than the stock one. And its design allows me to mount all the needed components. I'm using a stock front brake master cylinder, we just added a KTM adjustable brake lever and if you crash it's not braking away, it's just bending, so I just put it back and you can adjust it in different positions which is really cool. And then let's continue on my left hand which is more interesting. For my clutch I'm using the new Rock Bagorosh Parts CNC machined clutch lever which is so soft you can pull it with just one finger. For my stunt brake, I'm using the Magura HC1 clutch master cylinder, 13 mm. Why the clutch? Because the connecting bolt for the brake line is inside, so it's much easier to use and it's not in the way of all those components when you put them on the handlebar. Okay, let's continue to my rear brake extravaganza. Brake setup, the crucial part of every stunt bike. For the coming season, we decided to go big. With big, I mean we went from 230 millimeter disc brake to 300. Now I have like a big pizza on my back wheel. And on top of that, we designed a brand new bracket so I can mount big calipers on it. For my stunt brake, for my hand brake, I have a four piston caliper and the same one for my foot brake. So a lot of braking power, so my trick's gonna be now much bigger and much more aggressive. <music> to make the bike sound nice, as you could hear before, we added the Akrapovic slip-on exhaust. This time we went for the carbon one, since I wanted to have more black style. It's much lighter than the stock one. The sound, for my taste, it's really nice and deep. So really a part that I always use on all my stunt bikes. Since a stunt bike goes through a lot of beating, you need to protect it. So for that we develop a brand new crash cage with two areas of impact with plastic sliders so it absorbs impact energy better. And yeah, when you drop it, you just pick it up and you continue to ride. As on all my small dukes, I'm using the oversized 320 mm disc from KTM Power Parts. I'm using it because it, the braking power is unbelievable, uh, really a must have on your duke. To protect the front disc and the suspension, we added, as on all my stunt bikes, the front packs slash sliders with the plastic ending to absorb the impacts better. A 56 teeth Rock Buggers Parts CNC aluminium sprocket makes all the tricks much easier. One of the most common questions on my social media is the tire choice. On all my stunt bikes, I'm using the Meter Sport Force tires. On the front, I'm running 2.0 bar and on the rear tire, 2.5 bar. Super grippy in the normal street use and in stunt riding. Really a good tire. New custom rear pillion seat done by my friend Stopping. Its shape allows me to hold on better when I'm doing the sit down circle wheelies. The inside is harder so I can stand on it and also balance better. We updated our Rock Bugger Sports wheelie bar. This time you can adjust it with this spacer, depends on your height. And so you can also adjust your balance point. In the future, I will run this newly developed Rockbagger parts adjustable subcage. 
So now I can take my girlfriend for a coffee and later on I can go to the practice spot, rise it up to my favorite position and continue with my stunt tricks. Still using the prototype shock that's gonna be replaced soon, but I'm still deciding which I'm gonna run in the future. What's a great bike without a cool design, right guys? For that, we made a brand new livery for the upcoming season with really crazy colors. We added more blue color with a blue tiger pattern with our signature Rockon logos and also a lot of orange color which represent my connection to KDM and on top of that, all the sponsor logos. Dominic, thumbs up for the new bike? Perfect. We have a thumbs up from Headlands and guys that's it for this time. You can find all the links for the parts in the description below. On this point I would also like to thank my mechanics to finish this bike in time so I can go for my winter preparations. And yeah guys let me know which is your favorite part on my new stunt bike in comments below. Enjoy your riding, enjoy your bikes, ride safe. See you next week until then rock on! Music